scatty skittles. It's a trick that you can do instantly. Are you ready for magic? Amazing magic. And today we're talking about a game. It's called Tempin Bowling. Ever played it? I think so. Brilliant. To play Tempin Bowling, use some of these. Do you know what these are called? They're called Skittles, yeah? Now there's two Skittles, both red. Pick yourself one of the Skittles, any one you like. Not the red a one. wise choice, she's gone for the red one. You also get one of these little tubes. Take your tube, and all you have to do is exactly the same as me. You're gonna take your tube, and you're gonna cover over your Skittle just like that. Hand at the bottom, hand at the top. Try this. Turn it over once, mm. twice, mm. three mm. times, and if you followed correctly, your skittle should be the right way up. Well done, Crystal. Now, Mine's this, not the right way up. It's not the, how, how did you manage that? I don't know. That, that is weird. Turn it over for us, turn it over. Yeah, put it inside. You need your skittle the right way up. Absolutely brilliant. Close it over and then you just go one, two, three, and then you show everyone your skittle is the right way up. Now this, it's not the right way up again. I think you might have the wrong skittle. Take that skittle. I'm gonna take your skittle and we'll try it again, yeah? No cheating this time. I Cover over know. your skittle. Turn it over once. One, two times. Two. Three times. This is an amazing trick. You can really fool with this. Yours, as the magician, will always be the right way up. Turn yours over again. Theirs will be the wrong way every single time. It's a lot of fun. This is easy to do. You can make it by following the step-by-step -step instructions. You're going to get the instructions on how to make the skittles, how to make the tubes, and how to do all the secret moves that make this work. So stick around, secret. This is it, Kristen. We're about to do the explanation on how to do the scatty skittles. It's a cool name, isn't it? Because they are quite yeah. scatty. They're kind of turning over and doing all kinds of weird things. You need to make two tubes. Now, you'll get the instructions on how to make the tubes from the website magic Tricks for kids. Dot. Org. <laughs> dot org. You're going to need two skittles. You can also use bottles. But what you're particularly looking for is something that gets narrower at the top over there. See how it gets narrower? So it's small on that side, but it's big on that side, isn't it? Yeah? And you want something that is hollow. I picked these up at my local um, store, just a grocery store. The other thing you need is a sharp knife and a grown-up to help you because you're going to be cutting off a secret bit. You need an extra one of these Skittles or a bottle with a fat bottom. Oh, that's it, bottom Ooh, on the telly. And you're gonna cut the bit off, which fits on the top like that. So that's how it does. It most certainly is, Kristen. This is the secret bit. It's called a gimmick, any kind of secret bit that you use in magic. The gimmick goes inside the tube. Now, the tube is just made up from ro rolled up cardboard, so I can actually squeeze it. And when I squeeze it, I can hold that gimmick inside. Oh, dun, 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 secret gimmick. Move. Secret move. So when you start off, you've got your skittle inside with a gimmick on top like that. You've got your two tubes. You ask them to pick any one they like. When I pick up the tube, I'm holding the gimmick. Doesn't matter which one they pick, because I've got the secret gimmick. Pick one of those. Ah, sneaky. She's going for that one over there. You give them a tube, and then you cover it over. All that's happening as you're covering it over is you're actually putting that gimmick on top. And then you go one, two, three, which should leave the skittle upside down. Yeah? If they can, can count. If they can count. And then you lift yours up. Now, you don't want to be going too far here. If you go too far, they're going to see the gimmick. So make sure you only lift it up a bit. That's enough to create the illusion that that skittle is the right way up, which is kind of impossible because how can it turn in that tube? Yeah? So it's good magic. And then you're going to do it the second time. Now, yours will be the right way up now because you started with it the wrong way up. Oh, no, it's not. She's still got it the wrong way up. When you do it the second time, if you just pinch your gimmick and lift it up, you can show the whole skittle because your gimmick is kind of there on the top because you did actually start with it upside down. So you got one, two, three. It's now the right way up, so you can actually show that. What I did at the end was I dropped 
the bottom of the tube just behind the table and I let go of the gimmick and it falls to the floor. That can fall into a hat or behind your table or into a secret well underneath your table. <laughs> and then you get to show the tubes empty as well. It's good magic. You can make it. It's inexpensive. Works really nicely if you can get bottles, like I say. Preferably ones you can't see through. This mm -hmm. is Scatty Skittles. What's your verdict on this one? What do you think? It's a nice trick. Because uh, you you get it all the time and I thought that something was going fishy around here. Yeah, it makes the magician look like a superstar. <laughs>